So for years, Notion meant text. The charts were the first crack in that wall. Now something bigger is happening. Now they've quietly expanded that to a voice block with meeting notes. And for the first time, this brings your voice into Notion. The real question is, does it stack up to other solutions that are already out there? And will this require selling one of your kidneys? Let's find out. So we've all been there struggling to keep up with the meeting, but still needing to write notes without losing attention. If you had an assistant who could capture every conversation, every action, every responsibility, and then summarize the whole meeting for you, that would be the perfect solution, right? But what if you didn't have that luxury? What if you were taking that meeting alone? Or it was too sensitive to have someone else listening in? That's where this new voice block comes in. It quietly sits inside of Notion, listens, transcribes, and even lets you add your own notes, all without breaking your flow. No extra bots, no separate apps. It just works right where you already are. And the best part is it's already available across your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac. So it works cross-platform no matter which device you're using. So you might ask, how do I work with this new voice block? Inside of settings under Notion AI, you'll see that AI meeting notes is already enabled by default. That is your starting point to activate and use voice block in any meeting. And you can start transcribing a meeting through convenient entry points like typing slash meet inside any Notion page, clicking on the meet button on a new page, or even setting up a meeting shortcut inside of preferences. Once you create the block, you'll be reminded to get consent from everyone before you start the meeting. And the nice thing is you can even press this little speaker button on the right. I'm using Notion AI to transcribe this meeting and generate notes. And it'll announce that you're using Notion to transcribe the meeting. You can just copy the transcribed text and paste it straight into the conferencing chat. So everyone gets the transcription instantly. Now let's talk about the block that you've just created. It's got three dedicated tabs. Notes is where you can jot down your personal notes during the meeting. These notes are also used when Notion generates the summary later. The transcript tab shows the AI generated live transcription as participants speak. You can pause or stop it anytime. Say if you want to skip the small talk at the start of the meeting, the summary tab automatically fills once you stop the transcription and it gives you a full recap of the meeting, including key points that were discussed, decisions that were made, action items, and any important details from the conversation. In the summary tab, if you click the three dot menu, you'll find a format option. This lets you choose between auto, a sales call, a stand up, or a team meeting. Now you can also choose the language for your summary. And there's something you might not expect. You can even use the block for simple dictation. Just speak and it'll transcribe and summarize your thoughts directly into Notion. Now let's talk about what's good, what's bad, and what's ugly. So we've talked about what Notion's voice block can do. That was the good. Now let's get into the bad and the ugly, where it falls short and what some of the competition already offers. Now first, the list of supported languages is still pretty limited. So depending on what you speak, you might not find your language in there yet. There's no actual voice recording. So if you forgot something, you can't go back and listen to the same conversation. Critical meetings always have that I didn't say that moment and without speaker identification or knowing whose deliverable it actually was. It's impossible to trace this. Unless, of course, you literally announce your name before every sentence, the, which nobody does. You really need some kind of conversational AI to solve that. Accents are a huge challenge. Think about it, UK, Irish, Scottish, different Indian accents, they're all very different, aren't they? There's no way to feed in a data dictionary or a glossary. So if you're in a technical or a niche industry, the AI might misinterpret terms or names that you'd expect to get right. And finally, pricing. Ugh. Notion has just announced a new bundled business plan 
that forcefully includes Notion AI and features like AI meeting notes, Notion Mail, Research and more. The new price is $24 a month per user or $20 if you pay on an annual plan. But here's the catch. If you are already using Notion Business without AI, you're effectively getting a 25% price increase, whether you want AI or not. They're marketing it as AI is included, but you're absolutely paying for it. And I honestly don't see many takers for AI meeting notes as a standalone value driver and a better value. Now, there's another issue. The pace of updates is a big issue. These dedicated apps release major improvements every month. Notion, by comparison, has only added minor tweaks like drill down to Notion charts in a year, which is really just table stakes. My worry? is that this might fail even before it fully launches. Now don't get me wrong guys, I love Notion. I've been using it for years and I believe in what they're building, but they need to realize that the market has already moved on with products offering far more depth. So after testing it, here's what I'd recommend. If you've already got a paid plan in Notion and Notion AI, try it. If you want more powerful features, you need to look at dedicated apps. I've gone with VoiceSync for dictation and Mac Whisper for everything else. And if you want to know more about VoiceSync, check out this video here.